Welcome back grade 9 students to another episode of our Art Amazing Experience of the Western Classical Plays and Operas. It's me once again, Sir Harold, your arts teacher, and we will now be creating spectacles in our very own theater play. But before we proceed, let us first be reminded once again with protocols to follow during the live streaming class. Protocols to follow during the live streaming class. Respect everyone. Agree to recognize and abide the protocols in the live stream and respect the feelings, rights, or traditions of each and every one. No hate speech. Do not express or discourage violence towards a person or group based on something such as race, religion, sex, or sexual orientation. Be guided with the anti-cyberbullying law. Make sure that everyone feels safe. Bullying of any kind isn't allowed. And degrading comments about things such as race, religion, culture, sexual orientation, gender or identity will not be tolerated. No promotion of product or items. Give more to this group than you take. Selling of products, self-promotion, spam, and irrelevant links aren't allowed. Use appropriate words in giving suggestions, comments, and queries. We're all in this together to create a welcoming environment. Let's treat everyone with respect. Healthy debates are natural, but kindness is required. After the FB Live streaming, attend discussion class in the Facebook Messenger classroom with the subject teacher. Maximize the features of FB Messenger to be used in FB Messenger classroom such as text chat, audio calls, video rooms, and multiple screening. I hope everyone will be guided by the protocols for us to maintain order during our session. So allow me to give you the competencies that you are about to learn in this video. At the end of the lesson, you are expected to design the visual elements of the components of the selected Western classical theater play and opera through costumes, props, etc. Choreograph the movements and gestures needed in the effective delivery of the selected pieces from Western classical play and operas. Improvise accompanying sounds and rhythm needed in the effective delivery of the selected piece from Western classical plays and operas. Perform in a group showcase of the selected piece from Western classical plays and operas. Analyze the uniqueness of each group's performance of its selected Western classical theater plays and operas. And lastly, Show the selected influences of the selected Western classical play or opera in the Philippine theatrical performance in terms of form and content of the story. But before we proceed with our lesson, let us have a recap of our last discussion on the Western classical plays and operas by playing a game entitled Guess the Theatrical Theater Form. Try to identify the different theatrical forms given the description, category or era, and letters that will appear one by one in each number. The answer will be revealed after 10 seconds. Are you ready? Let's begin! Number 1 Correct! That is Seder Play. Number 2. That is right! That is Morality Plays. Number 3.
Melodrama is the correct answer. Number four. Great! That is comedy play. And last number, number five. Perfect! That is tragic play. Congratulations, dear students, for remembering the different theatrical forms that we have been encountered in our previous session. Now that we finish recalling the different theatrical forms, let us have an activity called Loop a Word. In this activity, type in the comment box the words you will see in the word puzzle. These 14 words are connected to the working team like the production team, technical team, and casting team in making the theater play. Are you ready? Your one-minute timer will start now. Let's now answer. Four horizontal words we have Director Casting Invitation Music Advertisement and Accessories For vertical words we have Production Costumes Programs and Lights and of course, for the diagonal words, we have technical, sounds, makeup, and props. It's great that you found all the 14 words inside the word puzzle. Good job! Let us have another activity entitled, That Face Looks Familiar. Try to identify the different famous Filipino playwrights and directors in the Philippines that I will show you in this activity. I will reveal the answer after 5 seconds. Are you ready? Let's begin! Playwright number 1 If your answer is Francisco Balagtas y de la Cruz, you got it right. Let's see if you know this playwright number two. That is Severino R. Reyes. What a memory you have! Here is director number one. Correct! That is Dr. Ricardo G. Abad. Let's proceed to director number two. That is right! That is Salvador F. Bernal. Congratulations, dear students, for a job well done! Let us see the influences of the Western classical plays or operas on the Philippine performance in terms of form and content 
off the story by discussing the biography of the following Filipino artists that we have been encountered a while ago in our previous activities such as Francisco Balagtas, Severino R. Reyes, Ricardo G. Abad, and Salvador F. Bernal. Let us begin with our very own famous Filipino playwright starting with Francisco Balagtas E. de la Cruz. He was born on April 2, 1788 in Panginay, Bigaa, Bulacan, and died on February 20, 1862, of pneumonia. He was also known as Francisco Baltazar. His best-known work is the Florante at Laura. Francisco Balagtas was the youngest of the four children of Juan Balagtas, a blacksmith, and Juana de la Cruz. He studied in the parochial school in Bigaa and later in Manila. During his childhood years, Francisco worked as a houseboy in Tondo, Manila. Balagtas learned to write poetry from Jose de la Cruz or Jose Sisiu, which is one of the most famous poets of Tondo. It was de la Cruz himself who personally challenged Balagtas to improve his writing. In 1835, Balagtas moved to Pandacan, where he met Maria Asuncion Rivera, who served as a muse for the future works. She is referenced in Florante at Laura as Celia and Mer. Balagtas' affections for Mer were challenged by the influential Mariano Capule. Capule won the battle when he used his wealth to get Balagtas imprisoned under the accusation that he ordered a servant girl's head to be shaved. It was in prison that he wrote Florante at Laura so that the events of the poem were meant to parallel his situation. Balagtas published Florante at Laura upon his release in 1838. He moved to Balanga, Bataan in 1840 where he served as the assistant of the Justice of the Peace and later in 1856 as the Major Lieutenant. He died on February 20, 1862 at the age of 73. On his deathbed, he asked a favor that none of his children become a poet like him, who had suffered under his gift. He even told them it would be better to cut their hands off than let them be writers. Balagtas is so greatly revered in the Philippines that the term of the Filipino debate in extemporaneous verse is named after him, Balagtasan, and one of the greatest literary awards in the Philippines are also named after him. Aside from Balagtas, we have Severino R. Reyes. He was known as the father of the Tagalog Zarzuela. He is the son of Rufino Reyes and Andrea Rivera. Reyes was born in Santa Cruz, Manila on February 11, 1861. He studied at San Juan de Letran College and later at the University of Santo Tomas, where he studied philosophy. He is a Filipino writer, dramatist, and playwright. He was highly acclaimed as one of the giants of Tagalog literature. In 1902, Reyes founded and directed the Grand Compania de Zarzuela Tagala. On June 14, 1902, the company staged his play, Walang Sugat or No Wounds, a drama set against the historical events in Bulacan during the Philippine Revolution. In 1923, Reyes co-founded the Liwayway, a Tagalog literary weekly and published a series of fairy tales titled Mga Kwento ni Lola Basyang, written by Reyes. The storyteller Lola Basyang was based by author on the neighbor named Gervasha de Guzman. 
Severino Reyes died on September 15, 1942 when the Philippines was surrendered under the Japanese regime. Severino Reyes' masterpiece Walang Sugat broadly underscores the injustice of Spanish rule even as it dances around the cruel fate of the young lovers Ten Yong and Julia with humor in the song. Set in the final leg of the Philippine Revolution, Ten Yong is forced to leave behind his childhood sweetheart Julia to join the Katipunan. Meanwhile, Julia's mother pressures her into marrying wealthy Miguel instead. With no word from Ten Yong as the battle prolongs, Julia gives in. But her wedding was interrupted by a fatally wounded Ten Yong. He mentions his dying wish to Julia. And the play features an unexpected twist that shows how Ten Yong was able to outwit the person separating him from his beloved Julia. The production was directed by Ricardo Abad under the musical direction of Josefino Toledo. John John Villarreal handled lights design while Dexter Santos choreographed. Set and costumes were designed by the national artist Salvador Bernal. Let us now proceed to the following famous Filipino directors that we have in the Philippines starting with Dr. Ricardo G. Abad. Born in Manila on August 10, 1946 of parents from Cavite and Camiguin. Graduated from the Ateneo de Manila after which he obtained a Fulbright grant to finish a doctorate in sociology at Fordham University in New York. Full-time faculty, Department of Sociology and Anthropology, Artistic Director, Tanghalang Ateneo Metrobank Network of Outstanding Teacher Pathways, or ANI, Ateneo de Manila University Role Players, Theater for Life Social Weather Stations has been involved as actor and director in over 120 productions while at the same time doing sociological work as a teacher, researcher, and editor. He has also directed and acted for professional companies like Teatro Filipino and Tanghalang Pilipino of the Cultural Center of the Philippines and the Metropolitan Theater. Theater Guild, many of his theater production were classics of Western drama, but in terms of a Filipino and Asian sensibility, like Shakespeare, Romeo, and Juliet. Another famous Filipino director that we have in the Philippines is Salvador F. Bernal. He was known as the father of theater design in the Philippines. Born in 1945 to a family that ran a turno shop. He was the first to develop theater design as a profession and elevate it to an art form. Studied at Ateneo de Manila and Northwestern University, Evanston, Illinois, USA. Practiced and handled courses in the art and craft of theater design taught briefly at Ateneo de Manila and University of the Philippines. He had designed more than 250 productions in ballet, theater, and film, and a National Artist Awardee. Here are some examples of Salvador Bernal's theater designs. Pilipinas Circa, 1907. Sarsuela, directed by Felix Padilla, designed by Salvador F. Bernal. And number two, Dalagang Bukid, Tanghalang Aurelio Tolentino, CCP Collage on Paper by Salvador F. Bernal. Trivia on the history of the Philippine theater during the Spanish regime. When the Spaniards reached our shore, they used dramas such as Zarzuelas as a pedagogical tool to influence the pagan tribes and teach them about Christianity and religion. Another important form of theater popularized during the Spanish colonization is the Comedia, also known as Moro Moro, 
Linambay or Arakyo. It's a play in verse that portrays the lives, love, and wars of Moors and Christians. Moro Moro is a secular comedy that dramatizes the war between Christians and Muslims through the forbidden love between the prince and the princess. The comedy is resolved with the non-Christian being converted to Christianity or through his or her death, immediately followed by his or her resurrection. Comedias was normally performed in the pueblos or village centers to attract more people to the foundation of its regime. The comedia can last anywhere from 3 to 15 hours through a series of performances. The first Filipino comedia was performed in Latin and Spanish by Father Vicente Puche in Cebu in 1598. On the other hand, a zarzuela is a form of musical theater that combines spoken words and song that celebrates various Catholic liturgical feasts. Jugar con Fuego by Francisco Ansejo Berbieri was the first zarzuela introduced in the country in late 1878 or early 1879. By August 17, 1893, Teatro Zorilla, the home of zarzuela, was inaugurated. Throughout the 333 years of the Spanish regime, the Philippines was widely influenced by their culture, tradition, and religion. Today, zarzuelas and comedias are still being performed, even if with other cultural influences and contemporary touches. A drama is much effective if it is placed on stage that supports the required settings. Over time, the development of the venues and techniques on how to deliver the story is a challenge. As we have discussed in the previous lesson, theater is a combination of the different form of arts and some people in this industry are argent in visual arts rather than the performing arts. Designing stage and costume is an example of expressing their arts. A theatrical production is any work of theater such as a stage play, musical, comedy, or drama produced from a written book or script. Theatrical productions vary in many ways. They can be anything from high school as well as college productions, community theater productions to summer stocks, and regional theater productions to Broadway and King's Road productions. Producing a play involves a lot of hard work and a lengthy process, but the results are always worth it if everyone does their part. To help you understand what all goes into all average production, here is a rough outline of how plays get from the script to the stage. Not every director, company, producer, or individual play will follow this exact process, but it will give you an idea of how the typical production schedules will run. Number 1. Find a script. Naturally, the first step is to decide which play you will be producing. Scripts should be chosen not just for their artistic quality, but also based on how realistically the production can be assembled given your specific limitations. For example, few local theater companies will have the resources to put on the Phantom of the Opera, but our town can be accomplished with minimal elements. Number two. Figure out the nitty-gritty. This step involves several smaller but equally pivotal steps. Letter A. Deciding who will be in charge. Assigning titles like director, choreographers, producers, musical directors, etc. will help establish chain of command and make decisions easier. Letter B. 
forming a rough budget. Even if all you have is pocket lint, the available funds must be accounted for and allotted towards certain needs like costumes and publicity. This step can also involve determining volunteers to help with production work like finding a skilled seamstress who is willing to contribute for free. Determining a venue is also crucial currently. Letter C. Crafting an initial artistic vision. The producer and the director will have to work together to decide their initial interpretation of the script. This interpretation must account for the available budgets as well as any ideas each party brings to the table. For instance, maybe this production of Hamlet will be set in 1980s Miami. Number 3. Casting Auditions let the director and producer find actors who can fill the needed roles. At this point, technical workers like lighting crew, stage crew, and other may be assigned or hired. Number 4. Rehearsals Rehearsals go through their multi-step process. Read through the first rehearsal usually involves a table read of the script where each person simply says their character lines. Directors may choose to cut or modify lines at this point based on how the table read goes. Letter A. Blocking. Blocking is the process of determining how actors will move throughout the scene. Most stage directions are quite bare, so the director will have to figure out who is going to be doing what while they say their lines. Blocking usually takes up the first one or two weeks of rehearsals. Letter B. Rehearse, rehearse, and rehearse some more. Blocking, line deliveries, and even script elements will be modified at the first to fit within the director's needs and vision. Eventually, actors will have to memorize their lines and be trying to get the play perfect in the preparation for the opening night. Letter C. Special Rehearsals Plays that require singing or dancing will often have separate rehearsal at the first to practice these elements before they can be brought into regular rehearsals. Letter D. Dress Rehearsal In the last weeks of rehearsal, costumes, props, and finalized set elements should all be ready to be incorporated within rehearsal. A final set of rehearsals known as dress rehearsals imitate the exact conditions of the live production. Number 5. Publicity and Opening Night Finally, the producer must advertise the play to ensure that an audience will be there. Publicity should be ongoing for several weeks leading up to the first production. These publicity efforts can involve flyers, school announcements, newspaper coverage, paid advertisements, and anything else the producer can do to draw an audience for their play. Once rehearsals have been perfected and an audience has been assembled, everyone will gather for opening night to see if all the hard work for has paid off. A play will usually run for a few nights to a few weeks. Longer productions will require constant regular and dress rehearsals to keep everyone at the top of their game in between shows. Staff organization with their respective duties and responsibilities. Director Lead the group properly. Organize and designate members to their respective role. Prepare a script of the play. Initiate planning. And formulate timetable of the rehearsals up to actual performance. 
a stage manager. Look for a good venue for the play. Responsible for the blockings of the performers. Assist the director and check the props, microphones, performers, etc. during the rehearsals and actual performance. We also have the production team. Under the production team, we have costumes, makeup, and accessories that consist of three to four members. Prepare, sketch, and make the signs of the costumes, accessories, and makeup. And they are the makeup artists during the play. Your designs must follow the designs of the costumes, accessories, and makeups of that era. Stage decor and props, three to four members. Prepare, sketch, and make the sign of the stage decoration and props. Arrange the stage decor and props on stage. Must work hand in hand with the stage manager and director. You are challenged to make your stage decor and props spectacular. Use your imagination. Advertisement programs and invitation Two members Prepare, post, and construct announcements or advertisements and programs of the performance Gives the invitation letters to teachers, advisors, administrators, and parents Technical team Lights and sound technicians Lights Prepare Secure appropriate lights in every scene and work and listen to the director's instructions. Music and sound effects. Prepare. Secure appropriate music and sound effects in every scene and work and listen to the director's instruction. Casting team. Casting. Pre-production process for selecting a certain type of actor, dancer, singer or extra for a particular role or part in the script, screenplay or teleplay. Now that we finish our discussion, it is time to group your class and let us have a collaboration work. You are free to choose among the suggested group of working teams in preparation for your culminating activity, production team, technical team, and casting. When you are already have chosen a group, you must be responsible and serious in doing your part. Work harmoniously with the other members of the group. In culminating activities, you need to observe planning, brainstorming, sharing of ideas, creativity, tactfulness, openness to criticism, and patience in dealing with others. Submit the list of the group to your MAPI teacher for monitoring and recording. After grouping, choose which story your group will work on. Collaborate and identify what will be your part in the activity. Each one will be given a task. Try to organize your work and make it into one performance and submit it to your teacher. Actors or actresses, rehearse a line from the script and then try to act it out while recording it. Production, create a layout of the stage which will be set as a backdrop and this can be digitally prepared. Soundman, lay out the sound effects over the final copy. Advertisement, create a promotional poster and director edit the whole recording using any application available note other parts of the theatrical organization can be filled in as necessary your collaboration work will be monitored and will be graded by your map teacher 
The influences of the Western classical plays or operas in the Philippine performance in terms of the form and content of the story was shown in the life and works of the following theater artists such as Francisco Balagtas, Severino R. Reyes, Ricardo G. Abad, and Salvador F. Bernal. Theatrical productions vary in many ways. They can be anything from high school as well as college productions, community theater productions to summer stacks, and regional theater productions to Broadway and King's Road production. Producing play involves a lot of hard work and a lengthy process, but the results are always worth it if everyone does their part. We have a process of how the typical production schedule will run such as finding a script, figuring out the nitty-gritty, casting, rehearsing, and the publicity and the opening night. And of course, a play will not run without the staff organization doing their respective duties and responsibilities from the director, stage manager, production team, technical team, and the casting team. Let us have your assessment by arranging the following according to the process by putting a number 1 to 5 where 1 is the first process while 5 is the last process. You will be given 30 seconds to complete the process. Are you ready? Your 30 seconds timer will start now. And here is the correct sequence of the process of producing play. For your assignment which entitled Comparison and Differentiation, list down some famous plays and operas in the Philippines that you think have Western theater art influence. Write some remarks on the given plays or operas. Answer the questions below. From the given above, which of the following plays and operas in the Philippines has some similarity or is different from the Western theater play and opera in performance, costumes, props, etc.? Support your answer. Once again, this is Sir Harold, your arts teacher, and living your Victor Hugo's quotes in his line from the novel Les Miserables. Life is a theater set in which there are but few practicable entrances. Keep safe, everyone, and see you on our next live streaming session.